Oh yeah, but look at those layers of the phyllo now. I'm on <laughs> Mmm. My bread is so good. Oppa! 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 Oh! Italian? Italian? No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> We're headed to Greece to learn about one of the oldest food cultures in the world and try some of their famous street dishes. Oh, oh we're doing street, street food. food! Let's go! Oh, yeah. <laughs> go Greece, Latin, and you're burning up the quarter mile. Different Greece? Different Greece. Yeah. Okay. I've actually never had Greek food, I don't think. Technically, donuts are Greek. <gasps> Have you had a lot of Greek food? They eat a lot of lamb, don't they? Gyro, right? Gyro, Euro. Oh, Gyro. I, gyro with a G. No, right? yeah, but you're not That's supposed to pronounce G. it. Right, 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 right. Ooh. Onion, oh. ground beef. Oh, Ooh. it looks delicious. Ooh. Are you gonna eat I think that? It's like into stuffing of some sort. I've never seen this before. Oh, and they wrap it in a little leaf. It looks good. Oh, that's gonna be some good stuff. That looks delicious. Yeah. Oh, oh that looks crazy. so good. So these stuffed grape leaves are an ancient recipe enjoyed throughout Europe and the Middle East with many countries claiming the origin. Regardless, dolmades are a staple of Greek cuisine and something everyone should try. Did you say grape leaves? I like the texture mm. and the consistency a lot. Yeah, this is very different from Lebanese um, kind. They're like little leaf cigars. Yummy. Wow. That has mm. so much flavor. Oh my God. Having it refrigerated and cold is also refreshing and it's lemony. Mm, that's good. Oh wow, that is wild. Whoa, it keeps going. <laughs> they're called domas because they're pre-packaged at the damn Whole Foods. Oh, don't be such a domas. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's great. At first I was scared. Mm -hmm. It was a straight leaf, you know? Yeah. I'm like, that is delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat all of them. You are more than welcome to. The grape, the grape leaf portion itself, like, gives it a little bit of like, kind of like a pickly type flavor. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mmm. I'm very like pickly. Very pickly. Yeah. For the most part, it's just super tangy, sour, lemony. It was good. That's a, that is iconic. Yeah, that is delicious. I'm exploring places that I've never been before, even though I'm right here in the studio. Getting educated. Mm -hmm. Eating food. I, I love good. them. Yeah, they're great. I mean, Miles isn't talking. <laughs> <laughs> he finishes. I love that. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, what in the world? That is took that talent. Dough? Oh my God, the dough is so oh, silky. Oh, anything with dough, I'm there. That looks uh -huh. good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bring it on. Oh, I'm really excited to eat this oh, one too. Shoot. Oh yeah. Like a wonton. It kind of looks like. Not samosas? And it's so flaky, it is it is buttery, and it's baked. Oh. Oh, oh yeah! yeah! Wow, Ooh, those are giant. Taro pizza is a delicious Greek pastry made with buttered phyllo and filled with cheese and egg. Oh man, oh my god, good. it smells buttery. <laughs> yeah, that smells good. It smells good. buttery. I was like, oh, it's gonna be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did not skimp. Ooh, mmm. Oh, yeah, but look at those layers of the phyllo now. Oh, that is pretty out. Mm. Have you ever had this before? Never. Oh, yeah, you're smart. I got all crust. <laughs> I should have ripped it. That's some good stuff. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kenneth loves these episodes. Uh -huh. mm hmm So this dish is also known as placenta cake. Interesting, why? Placenta cake. <laughs> in 160 BC, there's a record of this dish which described placenta as a sweet layered cheese dish, but don't worry, it was pronounced placenta. Got it. Thank God, because I was going to keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, because you had no, she's like, placenta, you're like, well, that's good. There are so many layers in that. That's good. There's, I thought it was going to be so sweet though, flaky. like a sweet bread. Especially with food. Sometimes it's so good, it just makes you laugh. <laughs> it's really interesting for me because a lot of these foods are similar to what I already eat, but they're different, and that's why I'm enjoying Not the me. experience. And Kenneth has nothing left. Hmm? No, I don't. <laughs> it's good, bro. <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, what is that? Oh. I don't know, but I'm in. Is that a pretzel? At first I thought it was a giant pretzel. Kind of looks like a donut. What is that? And I'm hoping it's sweet. I kind of like want cinnamon. something sweet. Oh. It's a circle. I have no idea, but whatever this is, the food's so good it'll make you dance. <laughs> that looks delightful. I'm on <laughs> 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 
Dating back to the Byzantine Empire, kalori are the most famous Greek breakfast bite. That smells so good. So not pretzel shaped at all. Oh. It literally, it's like a combination of like sourdough bread and a pretzel. This is what, sesame seeds? Oh, the bag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh yeah. A little bit of that bagel chew, but it's got that like pretzel chew mm -hmm. to it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I'm eating so fast. <laughs> oh, 13. Oh, this is new. 15. <laughs> oh, go off. Really good. Even though it's just bread, it's, it's really good bread. <laughs> it's good bro. <laughs> Your food should be edible and wearable. wearable. I think it's just oh. like the American in me. But if you gave me a cheese sauce, <laughs> I was the exact same thing. <laughs> I've already disrespected your culture once in this video. <laughs> oh, oh, Italian? And now I just did it again. Your neck is slightly red. <laughs> is it, is it oh, red there? Yeah, Attack of the bagel. <laughs> Not a bagel. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Miles, this isn't a one bite challenge. <laughs> I mean, all this, I don't think any culture makes bad food. All of it's good. Keep an open mind and an empty stomach, bro, and you're good. This place is pretty interesting. It's a really recent addition to the Athens food scene. Less talky, more showing me the food. Those look like the kind of fish, like sardine fish. Okay, if there's some shrimp involved, I'm here for it. Okay. Is that an ice cream cone? It's oh, fish. Oh, interesting. So fried fish with lemon. I love fried fish like that. Oh, that looks delightful. Ooh. Oof. Oh, look at this. I think I'm gonna try it. Popularized in the heart of Athens, this original street food concept of fish in a cone is perfect for someone on the move looking for a healthy seafood snack. Oh. Oh. This is amazing. Okay. So I gotta squeeze some lemon on yep. it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. If you like fish, mm. this is. I mean, it's perfect. It's a little more fishy than calamari. It is. I could easily see myself like walking down the street eating this, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, great. Sure, I'm going in. You should, <laughs> and you should take this one too. I taste a little, <laughs> little fish bones. <laughs> I'm even eating the little tiny bones. I can kind of notice the bones now. You kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. I could, I could easily eat, like, see myself eating a bunch of this at like a theme park. I'm digging it. You can't be The more I it. eat, it's, it gets better. Can you turn it around and show everybody how much you've eaten? <laughs> this is clearly very good to me. Um, there's two types of people in this world, the fishy ones and the smart ones. If you took like the like the, the meat off this, mm -hmm. put it into like a filet of fish. A filet of fish. <laughs> That'd be so good. The meal. I like, am <laughs> now entirely forgiven for anything that I have said in this episode because he legit just said that he wanted to put this in a filet of fish. <laughs> this is so good. I didn't say it didn't sound good. Oh, that's just right off. Is that the? Oh. Okay. Now this one. It would be fire. This is when you think Greek food. This that's is what the you first think. thing you think. Yeah. Tomato, onion, zero. Yeah, I'm so excited! I cannot hide it! Oh, and cucumber. Bruh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Mm. Seasoned and slowly cooked meats are shaved into slices and served on a pita with onions, tomatoes, and a savory tzatziki sauce. I am that's, eating all of this. That's me. <laughs> I am eating all of this. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. I think this is like, like the introduction a lot of people have mm -hmm. into like Mediterranean and Greek food. Yeah. It's such a good introduction. Mmm. My bread is so good. Mmm. Mmm. This mm. is really good. Mm. I head up to a street vendor, grab myself one of these and just walk around and enjoy the sights and just eat this. All the flavors complement each other. It all works perfectly together. Too. Yeah. This <laughs> is so good. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it right here in my pocket in case I get hungry later. <laughs> so this is considered a sandwich. Okay. Is it? I don't no. know. You guys said sandwich. Right? No, I think it's a wrap. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> a hot dog is not a sandwich. And this is like a sandwich in HD. So is a taco a hot dog? Why didn't we compare this to a taco? This is more of a taco than a hot this dog. Is a, this, is, this is a freaking taco. <laughs> Traditional Greek dessert. <gasps> dessert! Oh. This isn't what I was thinking, but I'm way excited about this. All oh, those look really good. They're like bite sized too, so it's like perfect. Ooh. Greek honey, cinnamon, and sesame. Looks like a donut hole almost. Greek honey and cinnamon. It's what I wanted. It's something sweet. Oh, it makes the honey Greek. Oh 
Oh. Do you hear the crunch? Yes, I did. I'm not even a big dessert guy, but that goes in. Uh. Yo. Ooh. Okay. Mm. I'm loving this topping. Mm, mm, mm. Lucamades or Greek donuts are a sweet, honeyed, deep fried pastry, often topped with walnuts, dried fruit, and sesame seeds. It's definitely Whoa, good. smell that. It smells so good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Sweet mother of God. But I'm kind of scared to like put like the whole thing in my mouth just because it's it's probably like super sweet. I'm gonna put the whole thing in my mouth though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's good. This is so good. Do you like it? I love it. Oh. Sure, are you experiencing that? Oh my God. In ways that may not be appropriate for TV. <laughs> but yeah, it, de it definitely gives me that, that like, <clears throat> like pillowy, but like, deliciously fried quality. There's an obvious crust around it. It kind of reminds me of like, almost like a beignet. It is absolutely delightful. And you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, Sharon. I think these are better than donuts. I agree. That honey is great. Known to be one of the oldest recorded desserts in the world. What? They were originally called honey tokens. Oh, that's a delightful name, isn't it? Uh, Everything we've had today has been like, at least an eight or a nine. I was gonna say I would ask how you would like it, but neither of you have any left. <laughs> <laughs> that that's really good. I get again, like I could easily see somebody just like eating all of them. Right. Um, <laughs> I can't look away from him for a second. <laughs> that's a perfect way to end it too. <laughs> Man, oh. we just went through an experience. <sighs> you fall? Very happy. That, that makes sense. How much like history food has in general? I never even like thought about it like that. Especially because like you can you can like see like little nods to things that you are probably more familiar with. Thank you guys so much for watching. What other food should we try next time? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe to People vs. Food. Bye. Bye guys. Bye guys. Peace. Oh, I want some more. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> like, I'm literally just like over here like listening to you like, oh wow, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What the hell happened? <laughs>